Hi, and welcome to lesson 12 on how to produce a deep house record with me, Rob Webster. In the previous lesson, we focused on the first half of the track. Now what we're going to do is we're going to deal with the vocals, the strings, the organ bass line, and that second section. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go over to our mix channel again and get the vocal, which is here. And we need to add an EQ on there, okay, because we're going to be taking the bottom end out of this again. Now, one thing that you really need to remember and it's when it comes to mixing down a song is that it can take hours and hours and hours to do sometimes, yeah? Sometimes three or four hours, sometimes days. It's very important that you come back to your work and leave it for a while. So do a little bit of a mix down or do one version and then leave it for a day or two. Come back to it and it will always sound different because you can get what is called ear fatigue and that's when your ears get so used to hearing a sound, it sounds okay and it isn't actually. So... Always come back to your work after a day or so. Um, as I say, what I'm giving you here in terms of this mix down is just the basics so that you understand that you cut out certain frequencies on one sound and leave in the frequencies that you've moved off that onto another sound. So with the vocals, we're going to do the similar sort of thing where we're going to remove the bottom end. So we're going to change this here to a low pass and cut that over. And we're going to mute the strings at the minute. So well, we don't have to mute them, but um, at the minute, what we're going to do is stick with this section that we did earlier in the previous lesson and just solo that and mute and loop that. quite a lot of ping pong delay on that so we can take that down a bit if you want so you know just take out the bottom end of that and raise up slightly a little bit on the top end you don't want too much because it's quite trebly anyway and then what we need to do is we need to go to the string and remember we rendered that so let's go down to here and take the volume down quite a lot and put some reverb on there put an eq on there and uh with the string let's have a look at that Let's just loop it and here we go. So it's all at the top here, look. It's quite a high pitch sound. So we can get rid of the bottom end by changing to a low pass. Bring it in just there as the frequencies come in. We don't want too much. Something like that. <laughs> So let's just see how that comes in. And let's put some reverb on the organ bass line. Just like that. And an EQ. So let's loop this section here of the track and see what we get up with too. Let's just for now um, mute the G roads and the sub bass. And 
and just play about with the frequencies of the organ bass line. Try and get the bottom end up. Somewhere around there, you know, somewhere like that should be fine. And then put your G roads on. And a reverb on that. Just give it a nice little touch, the reverb. Um, EQ again. It's quite a bottom endy. It's not got the bottom end here, so that's quite nice. We can drop to. We can put on that one there, that fork, like so. Just add that up like that. Get rid of number six because we don't need that. Number five, put on a bottom end. Take the bottom end off. The top end, should I say? Sorry, my mind is going a little bit at the moment. And then you sub bass. And now we've got the perk in there, haven't we, in this section, which is this bit. So we need to put a EQ on that and bring the top out. Make it shaky, very, very crispy. So to make that crispy, take away, keep that actually and put that on. So we've got, let's put that one on so that we can drop that down like that. And now you sub bass. That's got some real kick to it, that has, isn't it? Doesn't really need any EQ, it's just really subby and nice. That's better. Take that top end off, it makes a huge difference. So yeah, with that sub bass, yeah, just take away the top end and just leave it on that out and it really thickens it out and takes away that kind of sort of echo that was going off in there, which is quite good. And then you string. Maybe those perks can come down in volume a bit. If you see things that are clipping, um, in your levels, just bring them down slightly and just take away, you know, as much as you can. You don't want anything to go over the zero marker. See that here, look, you've got my snare that's going over, so bring that down. Put some um, reverb on the chord pad, just about there like that, so when it kicks into this bit, it's got a little bit of tail on the end. Like that. That's nice. So let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so there we go really. Um, that is pretty much all I'm going to do in this basic mix down lesson. As I say, these things can take hours and hours to do. 
and we don't simply have that sort of time but what I've given you are the basic ideas on how to do a mix down and get it into some sort of um, audible sort of position so what we're going to do now is I'm going to bounce this now to a WAV file and I'm going to then re-add it back into Ableton and do a very basic mastering session on it so that you can have it to play in your DJ sets or whatever it is you want to do with it, put it on in the car or on your iPhone or whatever. So um, what we need to do is go back to session view and we need to check our master level. So we play the track in its entirety here. And what we need to do is we need to bring down the volume to about just below between 6 and 12. So sometimes like sometimes people use minus six um for mastering. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it down a little bit more so that we can get a little bit more beef out of it. I am by in any means uh not a mastering engineer. Um I know very basic stuff on how to do it because this purpose of this lesson is to just get you to create the track, get into a position where you're able to arrange music and select right sounds. Basically just an arrange a track. Um, when it comes to mastering, it's um, it's a whole different field for me. I don't really tend to use it on my own productions. I let other people do that. Um, but I also, you can use um, online things. Um, there are online mastering services where you can upload your track and algorithms can do it for you. And some of them are very good, to be honest. However, for this lesson, all it is is just going to be a basic mastering session so that you get your track beefed up and a nice fat wave so that you can play it out and do whatever you need to do with it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop our level just between 6 and 12, which is fine. And then we're going to go over to the start of the track here. So what we need to do is we need to get a crash and put it all the way out of the way out there, okay, all the end. So that what happens is when the track bounces, it sometimes misses a bit. And if you do that, it'll clip right off and it won't carry over. So if we have another crash thrown down here we'll be able to tail that off later so that we get the whole of the track in. And the same goes for the start. Get a kick and put that just there before the track. And we start by putting our cursor there on the kick that we've just put in. Okay. And once you're happy with your mix down, all we need to do is go to new file, export audio, and it will say render track. And you can either, in, you can just put master like that and it will automatically be on master anyway. Um, wave 16 or whatever you want to work at and OK desktop and then press save and then what you will do is that will then create an entire wave of the track for you and then when we've got that head over to the next lesson and then we will do the mastering thing thank you very much for watching and I hope you've got all that any problems at all just give me an email and I will respond within 24 hours as you well know Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.